<clears throat> Guess who again? Yes, it's me. My coffee mug's getting a beard. I just brought the cat some summer sausage that I didn't like. And she is having a blast with it. See there? Spooky. Kitty, kitty. Anyway. I didn't mean to throw it in the sun. I got it thrown in the sun. I have been one busy old woman this morning. All day. Let me give you the rundown. Got some laundry done. Cleaned both bathrooms, mine and Brad's. Refilled the soaps. Cleaned up that little mess. Worked in the kitchen, did some dishes. Worked on some celery that I had in there for maybe two weeks. Two of the stalks were totally gone. And some of the ends of uh, the next few. So those will go in the compost. Um, I ate a big old piece and a half with peanut butter, which is my favorite way to deal with celery. While I was waiting on my popcorn to pop, which is in there now. And then I put on some Jello. I <clears throat> started getting my Jello at the bulk store at Tipton. I call it the Dutch. Because you're not paying, I'm not paying for all that packaging. I'm just paying for basically the product in a little plastic box or a bag. Sometimes it's either way. And let's see, for fun, in my black raspberry Jello, I added just a little shot of peach syrup that I don't like using in my coffee. Uh, I'm not into the coffee syrups like I used to be at the other house on South Grand because I had a coffee bar and I had all these wonderful syrups to offer, you know, to whoever. <coughs> and I've gotten a cold from flipping the air conditioner off and on. <clears throat> it'll get cold in there and then I'll flip it off and then it'll regulate again and back on it goes. And let's see, what else have I done today? Oh, I'm getting ready with my little clean plastic jars with the plastic lids. I did one this morning. It happened to be a peanut butter jar that I'm recycling into storage. I put some Velcro on the top, and I put the other part of the Velcro inside the jar until I get two or three ready, and I go to the basement with them, and I'm going to stick them either on the inside of the window frames or on the ceiling or something. Mostly the ceiling down there is that black plastic sheeting. Um, it's unfinished ceiling, so we'll have to do something with that. So I can't really put them there, but I've got all kinds of wonderful um, eye beams down there. And I probably won't have good luck sticking them there, but there's also these wooden beams. I believe there's two of them down there. And I've probably mentioned before, but I'll say it again. I love my basement. Hey, Spook. Hey, Spook, do you love me? Spooky's really shy. <laughs> yeah. And then the other jars, clean jars that I'm recycling, the glass ones that have metal lids. I'll get some nails, probably like roofing nails, and tap them into something so I can use them for storage like my dad has in the basement. Bradley and I were making a really big joke out of that, that my dad must have woke up some morning, one morning, and said to himself, gee, I think I'll put everything into little jars and nail it to the ceiling, which is kind of funny. Because a lot of guys do that, but when my dad does it, it's a joke, you know? <laughs> like things you can put in jars, oh gee. And this morning, too, I added to my little collection of Symbaloo buttons. If you don't know what that is, ask me, I'll send you a link. I've got all kinds of wonderful links stored on the buttons. So that when you get them on your phone, you see this marvelous little wall of a great selection of things. The thing I sent out this morning, though, were survivalist links. 
my son told me the other day one that I sent him he actually bookmarked well that's something coming from Bradley because I've sent him like I've sent some of you guys hundreds and thousands of links so this one out of all those appeals to Bradley and he bookmarked it so I'm going yay a uh, little weather plane up there or whatever probably a little high for the weather planes zoom I wish it were I little poopy clouds there and I think I mentioned about our possum Bradley's all ready to blow the possum away well I'm deliberate about throwing food out in the yard to feed nature the cats or passing dogs or whatever I've always been that way I mean, it doesn't kill me to be kind. It doesn't kill anyone else either. But this possum has been attracted to it. And possum hasn't bothered me. But I stepped out on the back step the other day. And I saw this long, skinny black tail. And I'm like, oop. Is that a rat? Is it a possum? What is it? What is it? Well, then I was out here the other night, which I sometimes do come out and just stand in the night on my porch I don't bother anyone and normally in the dark I don't go farther than right there at the top of the steps unless I go to a vehicle which is still my yard I'm still not bothering anyone and there I stood smoking a cigarette and there's that possum came right up to the steps not up the steps but up to the steps so anyway and Bradley was gone last night, so he's at uh, his friend's house in town. And I've just been kind of doing this and that. And I decorated a little trash can. I found a great deal on trash cans the other day at the Dollar Tree in Sedalia. Little small black ones. But you know the plastic bags with print on them that you get meat or veggies in at the store? one of those will fit that can but anyway I had some of the little metallic leaves like around my door over there and um, then I cut with the Sizzix so I slept one on the front and the back of that just to kind of perk it up because I have a trash can in the kitchen that got cracked got it big lots it was like eight bucks so I'm wising up I'm like why do I really need to spend eight bucks on a trash can because the one in my bedroom before this little black one was this big strange looking box odd shaped box that some movie time popcorn came in and I was just slipping a bag down in it and it's a trash receptacle okay <laughs> is it a huge deal my gosh this is the longest video I did 8 minutes and 19 20 seconds so I'm gonna chill now Watch, please. Rate, comment, uprate. Later. Love ya.